Hello, my name is Gail Tedhams. I'm Director of Sustainability at Owens Corning, and this is session two of our exploration of the LEED version four Green Building Program. We're going to do a deeper dive today into the Materials and Resources Credit, and uh, we're going to talk more about the Waste Management and Life Cycle Assessment part of the credit, so just an overview. By the end of this session, you'll be able to have an overview of this credit. We're going to understand the changes. We're going to talk about Waste Management and Material Disclosures goals and also the basics of Life Cycle Assessment. The Materials and Resources Credit, uh, the biggest changes to that are a prerequisite adding requirements for recycling on the job site and construction and demolition waste management. So it's in the credit areas, whole building life cycle impact reduction has been added as a credit area and building product disclosure and optimization, which we will explore much more thoroughly, uh, is also a new addition to this credit area. So this chart shows us the differences between LEED version 3 and version 4, marked by the X's on the chart, and the introduction of construction and demolition waste management planning as now a prerequisite. Also, you see where all of the individual attributes for building reuse or recycled content have now been folded into the building product disclosure and optimization credits, of which there are three of them. Environmental product declarations, sourcing of raw materials, and material ingredients. So this credit area has had one of the largest changes uh, going from version 3 to version 4. So establishing waste diversion and identification of at least five materials for diversion is one of the prerequisites. You may get questions about Owens Corning products uh, and whether they can be diverted. And if that does happen, please call our 1-800-GET-PINK hotline for questions such as that. There's also a credit for meeting diversion goals for at least 50% or 75% of the waste stream from the project. Let's talk a little bit about the materials and resources credit strategy when it comes to material selection. So LEED has established that reporting enables evaluation. So the evaluation part of the credit is really identifying the transparency information for the different products. So the thinking is that the more information that architects can receive, the more they can have the, uh, that evaluation process. Uh, it enables more preferential selection, which in turn drives innovation and the circle keeps going. So this is the strategy behind or the building products disclosure credit. A lot of the transparency information is based on the product life cycle. So let's talk a little bit about what that means. A life cycle assessment is conducted on products looking at their impact from the beginning of manufacturing from raw material selection, raw material harvesting, all the way through transportation, manufacturing, delivery to the, the use site or the job site, and finally the disposal or recycle of that product at the end of its useful life. All of the inputs such as energy and water uh, are calculated as well as the emissions from those different processes, whether it's the transportation uh, emissions or the emissions from the factory, and those are all added together to provide the total impact for that product, and those can be measured in different terms and reported. The life cycle assessments look at several different impacts. Uh, most notably greenhouse gas emissions for global warming, but also looking at the emissions that contribute to smog, ozone depletion, and eutrophication, which is the um, deterioration of water systems. Acid rain is another one that is measured. So these impacts can actually be measured and associated with that product as part of its footprint. So this ends session two of the video, and we're going to uh, then, uh, at the next session, look more into the materials and resources credit and the building disclosure environmental product declarations. So join me there. <laughs>